four residential duplex or two family dwelling district to special use district. They are the decision makers. We are the problem solvers that bring them information and solutions and action. Our level is at right at the top. We talk to the city manager, um, occasionally the city attorney, and maybe the assistant city manager on a specific issue, but, but we rarely go below that unless it's just conversation. It's big picture, vision, mission versus the nuts and bolts of it all. I have talked to the city engineer uh, on some issues if he's interested in my opinion, but I don't go down there and direct. Again, it's recommended by the planning commission unanimously to rezone it. Something like uh, researching a new ordinance that we want to do for our community that might have to do with zoning, might have to do with some other aspect of development. The mayor and commissioners might come up with an idea but it's going to be city staff that research ordinances, research what the solutions are, research what works in other communities, and then come up with viable solutions we can offer uh, before the mayor and commissioners. So they don't need to get involved in the weeds of doing all of that work. That's what staff does. In our community, according to our city charter, we have what's called a strong city manager and a weak mayor system. All that means is that the mayor and the commissioners, we set policy is what we do. We do not delve in the day-to-day -day operation of that. A city commissioner is elected to be a member of the governing body to make strategic decisions for the city, provide direction and guidance approve the budget. Obviously we don't put the budget together but we approve it and kind of uh, monitor that and just the policies and procedures that go on uh, we're involved in those decisions. We have uh, four employees that answer directly to us. That would be our city manager Gerald Gilbert, that would be our city attorney Carol Lehman and then our two municipal judges. And um, past that, I have no involvement with the rest of the staff. I'll look for a motion. Then. Make a motion to approve. I hear my OMAG friends, and they represent insurance-wise pretty much all the cities in Oklahoma. They tell us every meeting should be about the future. That's what the council does. I also deal a little bit with the future, but I deal more probably right now in the present, working on implementing, directing, and, and leading this forward. 6.1, hold a public hearing regarding the adoption of the current version of the International Residential Code. I'm at their beck and call. I'm the instrument with which they work with the city staff. In our level, it, <clears throat> we go to the citizens. We don't go down into the city staff. And I'm blessed to have a whole lot of fantastic staff at the city senior leadership staff like Scott Morris, Aaron Crawford. Obviously with Aaron, she's gonna be helping find money. She's gonna be helping find resources and I'm just gonna be looking for alternative solutions and how can we get the job done the safest, the most efficient and just provide backup to those supervisors when they need help. We have great staff and on down from Gerald, whether that's Scott Morse or on down to the department heads. Leroy Alsup, Morali Cotta. Those people are in those positions and they do that well. Sonia Key. I could go on and on and on. So let them do what they do well and I'll try to do what I do well. What the commissioners might say and point out is the city manager gets paid a lot of money and the city commissioners don't get paid a lot of money. That is another difference if you're interested in fiscal matters. In fact, they get paid nothing, but just serving their constituents. I probably do hit the guardrails every once in a while, but um, I really try to stay in my lane. <laughs>